another anime pilgrimage. This time we have Love Live Nijigasaki on our hands, currently in the Odaiba area of Tokyo. Now, if you're not a Love Live fan or you haven't really seen Love Live Nijigasaki, I still think this video will be very fun to watch. Odaiba is so interesting. There's so many different kinds of architecture and just fun to be had here. If you have seen Love Live Nijigasaki, there's Tokyo Big Sight. This is their school in the anime. It's kind of crazy. Tokyo Big Sight is, if not the biggest exhibition center in Tokyo, it, it's, 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 it's big. It's huge. I've been here several times for other events, but I've never been here when there's no event. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. There's no people. When it's like Comic Cat or Anime Japan or just any event, this place is so crazy. It's so weird that it's empty. It's like if we're gonna have a love live take place in Odaiba, their school has to be Tokyo Big Sight, right? This building is so scary actually when you're under it. So unlike my other anime pilgrimages, I came prepared with an acrylic stand. <laughs> of it um even though it's empty today there's no conventions or events or anything today so it'll be interesting to kind of see inside of it when it's empty this place is not all that interesting <laughs> when there's nothing going on of course but yeah imagine this being your school that'd be pretty crazy oh i think i can go up let's try to the hall can i feels like i'm not supposed to be in here <laughs> whoops And the show you often see the girls coming outside, I'm guessing on the terrace for Tokyo Big Sight. And exercising, like, <laughs> right here, actually. Yeah, this definitely looks familiar. I think they do practice and stuff, maybe, in this area. Well, I'm done showing you guys an empty building, basically, so. Anyway, let's go grab a bus and go to our next pilgrimage location. This is where Ayumu does her Dream With You song in the beginning of the series. Is that tree in it? Hold on. Oh yeah, the tree is there. There, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. Theoretically, Yu lives in the apartments around here. Whenever Ayumu and Yu are walking back from school, they always kind of stop here and chat. I feel really proud of myself actually for finding this place. Just kind of had to look around in the episode, see what kinds of places were in the episode, and then just Google map it myself. So, Which, by the way, I will definitely be putting links in the description of all the places that I go to today. So if you want to go, uh, you can do that. Just be, you know, respectful of your surroundings and quiet around apartment areas and you'll be all good. All right, we're nearly at our next stop. There's already some people lined up. The Love Life kitchen car, which is right next to Gamers, and they definitely <laughs> Love Life Nijigasaki this whole thing out. This is saying that the second season of the Nijigasaki anime is airing right now. It doesn't open until 11. We have some time to kill. I hope this opens up too, the drink truck. Ooh, we should chill up here while we wait. This building's decorated with Love Live banners. Going up the stairs, there's more over here too. What is this? Uh, ah, so this is I from uh, Love Live Nijigasaki and it looks like maybe in the anime, maybe in the opening, there's that. I guess it's just showing like a spot, animation spot. Cause uh, over here it says Odaiba, right? <laughs> so she just has the eye part in there. So cool. This is a neat little area. I wonder if I can find more of those. Here's another one. Uh, school Idol Festival de Kono Basho ga something something. <laughs> so I guess they sit 
here. Yeah, that looks like this bench right here. You can kind of see the character sitting here. So probably looking out at this view, huh? I would imagine. All right, look, anime tourism industry of Japan. Hear me out. These need to be everywhere. These are so cool. I think now gamers should be open, so let's head that way. This is the gamers that is on the side of the Odaiba Dex shopping mall, and they have just about anything you can imagine for Love Live. They have character stands on the side, they have keychains and shirts and icy card holders and magnets and anything you could want for Love Live. They probably have. They do have other anime merchandise too, but I'd say about 85% of it is Love Live. So I just made a couple of small purchases at Gamers. I'll show them to you in a bit. But now I'm so hungry, like I didn't eat breakfast. So I'm gonna head over actually to a burger shop called Ku Aina. It's actually uh, featured in the opening of season two of Love Life Vijikasaki. So I'll show you why when we get there. I'm just so hungry, but it actually looked like the Love Live drink truck was opening up. I'll definitely go back and get um, something from the I think it's like drinks and sweets truck, not exactly sure. It looks like the guy was opening it up. We'll head back that way and uh, check it out. Kua Aina, it's actually a pretty popular chain here. But the cool thing is, is that this is actually featured for some reason in the opening of Nijigasaki season two. While I'm looking over the Bay Area, I'm gonna show you what I bought at Gamers. I always have to buy the anime water bottles. I just like collecting these. Um, I have a lot of different uh, anime water bottles, so I wanted to get one. They had all the girls. Like you could pick your favorite girl. So obviously I went with Emma, very cute. So I won't drink it until I get home. I want the bottle to stay as good as possible. So, but yeah, you just, and they're only like a dollar something. So these are just really cool collectibles. I like, I like getting the water bottles a lot. And then I also got this keychain of Emma. I think these are so cute. It looks like they're supposed to just hang from your bag, like by their clothes. They're so cute. I love these. So I picked up one of these. The store also gave me one of these because it's almost Ai's birthday. It's like the last week of May right now. So her birthday is 5.30. So yeah, they gave me one of these cards. I guess it's just, a cool little thing you can get only near her birthday. I don't know what you do with them other than collect them. That's Japan for you. They like to collect a lot of paper with anime people printed on them, which I do too. Uh, and you can see on this water bottle, there's actually places that are in Odaiba, like the Ferris wheel, the television building, which we're gonna head over that way soon too. But yeah, very Odaiba-ish, really cute. Here's the drink I got. I got the Kotori one. I have no idea what it is. I think it's pina colada flavored or something. And then of course I got my little coaster. I don't know who it is yet. I think it's, um, all of them are like the original girls from Muse. So it won't be Nijigasaki, I think. Let's check. Oh, okay, this is perfect. I love Reen a lot. I actually have a figure of Reen at home. Uh, but yeah, we got the Reen one. This is really cute. I'll have to add that to the collection of anime coasters that I have and that I've gotten all around Japan. Ooh, it's actually really good. It's really refreshing on a day like today. It's not that hot in Odaiba today, but it's fairly warm. I mean, it's May. I'm wearing a jacket because the wind is pretty strong. Mm. I will probably pass on the cafe, the Love Life Character Cafe, just because I've, I've done the Love Life Sunshine Cafe in Numazu and I felt like that was like the ultimate cafe experience for Love Life, so I'll probably skip out on this one. The reviews aren't great, and uh, usually with anime cafes like this, sometimes it's sometimes it's a big miss. <laughs> Plenty happy just drinking my drink anyway. I just had a cute interaction inside of uh, that tourist information center for Odaiba. In there, they had a bunch of um, Love Life posters and stuff advertising Love Life. I got the uh, guide map for to the Tokyo waterfront city for basically for Odaiba, and it's got live live on it but i had a really cute interaction um in there with the employee i asked her if it was okay for me to take pictures inside of there and she said yeah and uh she was like oh are you here because it's ai chan's tanjobi <laughs> ai chan no tanjobi and i was like uh 
So this is yeah, of course, <laughs> of course I am. Take it easy. It's just a drawing. And it was so funny that she seemed really into love life, um, just as much as me, I guess. So it was a, it was a fun little interaction. Here's the inside of the map. I wonder what the little, all the little characters that are all around here. I wonder what that means. Or maybe they're just like randomly on the map. I don't know. So we're on the side of Odaiba now that you might know. It's pretty well known for the Gundam. Yep, <laughs> this is where one of the several Gundams around Japan are. However, as cool as it is, that is not why we are over here. We're actually over here because if you remember in episode one of season one, this is where Setsuna Yuki does her first little performance on these stairs and and you and Ayumi are actually like sitting in a park probably over there there's like a lot of parks and benches around this area and they hear the music going on and they come over here and and watch Setsuna Yuki dance you can actually see the Gundam cafe or the Gundam base in the video where she's dancing but unfortunately now the Gundam cafe is closed in fact this one's closed and the Akihabara one is closed I'm not sure about the other ones but yeah in those videos you can see that it's definitely like the Gundam cafe or the Gundam base so yeah Gundam fans and Love Life fans <laughs> Love Life Nijigasaki fans can come here and appreciate stairs and then of course this thing <laughs> you can just really walk all around this place in Odaiba the Diverse City Tokyo area and you'll see places where like oh the girls did a dance here or they were exercising here there's a scene here yeah, if you're a Nijigasaki fan, like if, that, if that's your favorite group, I really can't recommend Odaiba enough. I mean, even if you're only slightly into Love Life, even if you're not into Love Life at all, I'm like, Odaiba has so much more to offer than that. Like, Odaiba is a place that a lot of Japanese people come to for vacations, and it's just, it's such a fun place to be. I love it every time I come to Odaiba, so I recommend it either way. <laughs> so at the time of recording this video, season two of Nijigasaki is actually airing, so I think there's like six episodes out or something. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what else they put in the show that I could maybe come back to Odaiba at a later date and check out. If there's a place you guys recognize in Odaiba that's actually in the show, let me know in the comments. Like I really can't remember everything about the show. When you watch so much anime, it's like, I can't remember one specific scene or place in one show, so. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I have for you as far as this anime pilgrimage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to push the like button, comment what your favorite part was. Do you watch Love Live Nijigasaki? Are you a fan? Or did you enjoy the video even if you're not a fan of it? Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Big thank you to my patrons right here. Thank you guys so, so much. You make stuff like this possible. I am gonna go home. <laughs> I'm tired of Tokyo. I'm here too much. Too much. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!